All right. Clint Kane has released his EP called And All I Loved, I Loved Alone. Mouthful as always. And has got one new song. Honestly, that's probably a world's first, releasing an EP and only having one new song. But it's called Merry Go Round. And let's check it out. Ooh, Cynthia. I'd sell my soul to feel alive again Some oh, days whoa, whoa. I wish I could pretend So sick of waking up in the morning I find myself praying to Ooh. God again I don't know if I hear if I'm stuck inside this merry go oh, Don't title. know if I want to get out The lyrics are really effective Cause I drink too much, I think too much I barely like myself enough I say I'm mm, fine, but nice. I Nice, nice falsettos inside. All my days feeling like we oh, again okay. I find myself spiraling Stuck inside this merry-go-round Don't know if I wanna get out Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa I fall in love, I fuck it up mm. Oh my god, the fucks are like so violent and the falsettos are so pretty. Ooh, okay. Oh, the distortion! Oh shit! Ooh. Whoa, that's sick. Let me just hold the mic. That is really short, actually. What is it? 2 minutes 10? That is the shortest song from the EP. Oh my god. Yeah, I can feel it. it. It deserves to be longer. I mean, the bridge was so short. It literally just flew by. There is one thing that I noticed about his, like, lyric writing and melody stuff. Is that he likes to reference melodies from other sections of the song in different sections. For example, Panic Attack in the verse, he has a little melody that goes Choking on nothing but air Which is exactly the melody that we see in the chorus. Drowning alone in my arms. Same melody. Same thing for Merry Go Round. He does the Da 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 He does that melody in the chorus and he also references again it again in the bridge. I like it a lot, I like it. It sort of gives the song more cohesiveness, I guess. The only downside I feel for that is just, the song is already so short, right? And then he's also constantly referring back to previously used material, so it kind of feels like he's not really exploring much new stuff. It's just like the same lyrics over and over again. And you feel it, because it's just so short. It just happens so quickly. There's only one song in this, in this entire EP that goes beyond three minutes, which is actually really surprising, I think. Production-wise, it's, it's a different sound. Really heavily produced, which is kind of funny because he started off as an acoustic singer, so I guess it's like, as a kid, you hate doing some things, but then when you're an adult, you actually like them. It's sort of like that, that switch up, I guess. I think this project is a pretty good success. Like, it showcases a lot more production, I feel, but his vocals do stand out as well. They're not as heavily emphasized as before, but they're still really impressive. Let's do a ranking, shall we? You're welcome to do your own ranking of these five songs below. Okay, number one, I'd go Panic Attack. That song is just incredible. Number two, Merry Go Round. I'll give it to Merry Go Round, honestly. Just from one listen, it is pretty good. Number three goes to Dancing All Alone. Number four goes to Disappear. Number five goes to Bittersweet. I love Bittersweet, but I think I overplayed it a little bit. But yeah, that is And All I Loved, I Loved Alone. Hopefully the sound quality is, isn't bad because I'm like constantly moving and moving about. Moving about. Like, this would be, like, I don't know if this is ASMR or just air rape, but it exists now. 